Good morning. Welcome to our midweek devotional, again coming from All God's Creatures, published by Guideposts. Our author for today is Tez Brooks, and the scripture they have chosen is Psalm 27, verse 14. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. The title of their devotion today is Too Soon, and they write, I rushed around the yard, scooping up the baby robins I'd scared from the nest. How thoughtless of me attempting to take a photo. I had no idea they would jump out of the cluster in fear. Had they just waited for a second more, I would have retreated with my camera, and they could have remained snug in the nest. Now I attempted to fix my mistake, but each time I tried to replace them in the nest, they would jump out again. Too young to fly, they flapped desperately, then hit the ground with a thud. Their parents scolded from the trees above, dive-bombing me. Eventually, I managed to return all the hatchlings to their home. As sunset arrived, I noticed Mama Robin quietly sitting atop her offspring, reassuring them. There would be a day when they would fly. Today was not that day. I'm not unlike those baby birds who needed more time to grow. At times, I've sensed God preparing me for a new opportunity, but I'm not yet ready to fly. I tend to jump out into a new endeavor long before the Lord has finished preparing me. With a thud, I crash land and find myself in a precarious spot. Thankfully, God can scoop me up and finish what he started in me. The Apostle Paul also had to wait on the Lord to prepare him. Theologians agree he spent approximately two or three years in the Arabian desert after his conversion, allowing God to prepare him for ministry. I desperately want to be like Paul, yet so often I respond like those tiny robins, assuming I'm able to fly before it's time. I want to trust God's schedule, not mine. And they close with a quote from Charles Spurgeon. Stand still, cheerfully and patiently awaiting the directing voice, and it will not be long ere God shall say to you as distinctly as Moses said it to the people of Israel, go forward. Amen. Thanks for joining me. I hope you'll join me again next week and also join us at 11 on Sunday morning for our worship service, either live or on YouTube. Have a great week.